Hello everyone from Curry Senior Vitality. I'm Josie from Community Tech Network, and this is part two of our lesson on storage. So in part one, we talked about the internal iPad storage, and now we're going to focus on iCloud storage. So first off, what is iCloud? iCloud is Apple's program for online storage, which is also known as cloud storage. And your Apple ID account automatically comes with five gigabytes of free online storage in iCloud. So in total, remember, you have 32 gigabytes of internal storage, plus these five gigabytes of iCloud storage. And iCloud can be used to back up your device and keep your photos or videos, documents, messages, and other data securely stored and updated everywhere. So this is really helpful. Uh, for example, if something happens to your iPad, you don't lose all those photos, you still have them because they're, they're backed up to iCloud. It's also very helpful if you have multiple Apple devices. Let's say you have an iPad and an iPhone and they're all using iCloud. If you take a photo on your iPhone, you'll then have access to it on your iPad because they're all synced together through that iCloud. So first, let's take a look at how to check how much storage you have left in iCloud. So you will first tap on Settings. And within Settings, way at the top on the left side, tap on your name. And then on the right side, look for iCloud, and it shows five gigabytes. And here, just like in the previous part, it calculates exactly how much storage is available and how much is used by different categories. So my biggest category here is backups, then photos and docs. But as you can see, I still have quite a bit of space available of those five gigabytes. Underneath this breakdown of your iCloud storage, you can also see what apps are actually using iCloud. So if they're turned on or if the toggle button is green, that means it is using iCloud. So anything, any data used within those apps is not stored just on your iPad, it's also backed up to iCloud. So from there, you can decide what you want to use iCloud and what you don't. So for example, if you were almost out of iCloud storage, you had almost five gigabytes used, you could decide um, maybe, maybe you don't need your notes backed up. You're okay with having that just on your iPad. Or messages, for example. I have it turned off. So my messages are just stored locally on the iPad. They're not backed up to iCloud. And you can decide what you wanna turn, turn on or turn off. And when you turn something off, you can decide what to do with the previously synced data. Do you want to keep it on your iPad? Do you want to delete it from your iPad? It's up to you. Another thing you can do here is uh, tap on Manage Storage. And here you'll get the option to change storage plan. So as I said, five gigabytes is free, uh, but let's say you did run out, start to get low on iCloud storage. Um, Apple has a lot of plans that you can upgrade to. So for example, if you just need a little bit more storage, you can pay something like a couple dollars a month. Yeah. So for example, you can get 50 gigabytes of iCloud storage for just 99 cents a month. And there are other plans depending on what you need. So that paid version of iCloud is called iCloud Plus. Don't worry about that unless you actually need that storage. And here you can also manage some of those um, categories that are taking up more space. Um, for example, photos. Um, I have photos iCloud storage turned on, so that means any pictures or videos I take on the iPad are automatically backed up to iCloud. But if you don't want that, you could disable and delete. Um, 
I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, voice memos, though. Let's say I don't really use that. I could go ahead and delete the data. So those are some things you can look at if you're getting low on iCloud storage. I also wanted to point out iCloud, oops, iCloud backup. So I recommend making sure this is turned on. Mine is turned on. And what that means is um, anytime your iPad is connected to power, locked and on Wi-Fi, it will automatically back up your apps and data to iCloud. And uh, as you can see, I have it turned on and it was backed up yesterday morning. And that's just a good thing to have turned on in case something happens to your iPad. You don't have to worry about um, manually backing everything up if you have automatic backups turned on. So I did want to point out this can be a little confusing. Um, with photos, for example, I have iCloud turned on. So as I said, photos I take are automatically backed up to iCloud. Um, but what's important to consider also is that if I delete photos from my iPad, they're also deleted from iCloud. So what you can do to um, kind of minimize the storage that's used by all those photos and videos um, is go into photos here. And there's this option to optimize iPad storage. And if you do that, it will just um, try to optimize the amount of storage and minimize the space that your photos are taking. So if you have it set to download and keep originals, I recommend changing it to optimize iPad storage. So just a quick recap of what we went over. To check out your iCloud storage, you go into settings, tap your name, tap on iCloud, and see how much of your five gigabytes is used. Underneath that, you can manage specifically which apps are using iCloud and which ones are not. You can turn off the ones you don't want backed up, turn on the ones you do want backed up, Again, make sure iCloud backup is turned on. And to optimize your storage within photos, you can make sure this is checkmarked, optimize iPad storage. I hope this was helpful. In the third part of this lesson, we'll talk about Google Drive. Until then, have a great day and thank you for watching.